Hey, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. And I'm Alex. And we crash and lose things a lot. Yes. We've lost Mobiuses, we've lost airplanes. Even when we don't crash, we still lose stuff. We still, things fall off of our airplanes quite often. And uh, there's a new device out that you yes. guys are probably familiar with that you can get on Amazon very easily that works with your iPhone. Yeah. And that's called the Tile. The Tile actually uses a mobile app on your iPhone and it works really, really well. It's really well thought out. Yeah, I think and it's it, like Bluetooth. Yeah, it uses Bluetooth technology. Um, so this is by no means GPS. So yeah. it's not gonna give you a pinpoint location. Um, but if you get it within, what, 100, 100 feet? Yeah, about uh, anywhere from 100 to 300 feet. I picked it up as far away as 300, but 150 feet is where you start really picking things. Yeah, and I bet it depends on where you are too, the environment. Yeah. Um, so basically when you, you, you walk around with your app and when you get close, you can, it'll start beeping. There's also some really good features on the app that enable other people to help you find it. So since you can only be within 150 feet, say we were at Flight Fest, we lost something in the soybeans, you could get a line with people with their iPhones walking through. When someone got close to it, it would alert them and they could find it for you. So it's a really powerful app for about 20, 25 bucks. Pretty good value. We're gonna put it to the test today with our Bloody Baron, mm -hmm. but not on our Bloody Baron. Yes. We're gonna fly our monkey. And the monkey has a selfie stick, but more importantly, the monkey selfie stick's gonna be holding the new GoPro session. So we're gonna see, I guess, one thing will be the durability. Yes. And the other thing is gonna be how well we can locate it. So I'm just gonna stick this tile right on the back here. This actually has double-sided tape. So uh, on the bottom of the Versacopter here, we actually have one permanently applied. You also have one on your keys, don't you? Yes, and it has changed my life. It works good for everything. We've thought about just installing one on Josh because we, we lose him all the time. Remote controls, keys, yes. transmitters, goggles. Yeah. You can put on anything or anybody. Why don't you snap that right. one in there? Cool, so is this recording? Just hit it once. And is it on? Going. Yeah, it's recording. Are we going? Now it's a little bit heavier. Do you think that this is gonna work? No, no I don't. <laughs> we haven't tested either. Give it a little jiggle. You think I should wing launch it? I think you should to get the momentum going so I don't I think you should you should run and just let it fly out of your hands. Okay. All right, you believe in me? This is the, the wind kind of feels like is this you want to go that way or toss me towards the trees. Straight that way? Yeah. Ready? Right, let me get a It has a pretty good amount of pull. I think you're going to be okay. All right. Ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> Doesn't even know it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to take this up a little ways. It's flying just fine. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, which way is the wind going? Uh, it kind of feels like it's blown towards that way. All right, cool. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop this and I'm gonna immediately fly over the other way so I can't see where it is. Ready? Go. Parachute. Oh no, the parachute's not working. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where it is. You know where it is, don't you? Yeah, I watched. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna land this here. There we are. So now, we crashed our plane. We don't know where it is. I'm simply gonna go into my app. I'm gonna pull up a tile, and I'm gonna hit Monkey GoPro. <laughs> and what you see here, everything is in gray. As we start walking, once it starts picking up a signal, you're gonna see dotted green lines kind of dancing around in a circle. Once it turns solid, you can hit the button, and that's gonna make the, the little uh, tile chirp. But do you wanna take a walk? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. <laughs> I like Brian's camera run. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Here's the funny thing is, Brian's going to film by where the thing has landed. So as long as you have a Brian that's filming you, you don't need a tile. He's gonna run right way to where it is, but at least we can show you how this works. So I'm still walking here. Still walking. All right. It immediately went from dashes to a green light here. So now that we have a green light, we can actually hit the button find. It's playing. All right, let's go drop it again, find it one more time, okay? Done. Let's Done. Do That's just what I just hit too, I'm done. <laughs> All right, so that one looked hysterical. We're gonna drop it again, but this time no parachute. Make it a little bit more incognito and see, uh, see what it's like flying it again. Frankly, you just wanna drop the monkey more. <laughs> All right, you wanna launch me again? Sure. 
Alrighty. Here we go. <laughs> now I feel really irresponsible, but this GoPro has a pretty amazing case around it, so it should be able to take a grassy impact pretty easy. Monkey away! Ah, monkey! monkey! Oh! <laughs> I love this plane. We should do another Bloody Baron episode. <laughs> what is that sound? It's the uh, 1047 on it. It's such a big prop with uh, low static thrust. It's just awesome. I love the Bloody Baron. All right, cool. I should land it. By this time, I've forgotten where the monkey is. I don't even know where the monkey is. Once again, flop. Okay. Let's go find a monkey. We lost our monkey. Let's do some monkey tracking. So, yeah. Tile App just asked me if I would recommend Tile to my colleagues. And I what said, yes, 10 out of 10. And they said, what was one thing that we could improve? I'm gonna say longer battery. I'll say build it for airplanes. He's reacquainting himself. I'm gonna mark my tile as lost. I'm gonna say I don't have my, you know, don't know where it went to, and that should give other people the ability to help me find it. We ready? Mark is lost. All right, it says after you mark tiles lost, you'll be notified via push notification email whenever a location is updated. I'm marking it as lost. So now if Alex gets it and sees it, it's gonna notify me where it was found. Long story short, by marking it as lost, you've actually enabled all other iPhones with this app on there to help you out to find the machine, so or the GoPro or the mm -hmm. monkey. Uh, that gives you the ability to find it easier and have more people help you. So we're gonna put that to the test now. Your tile is now anonymously searchable by your whole community. You will get a notification when another one gets close. So I'll go this way where clearly it wasn't. Alex will go in the general direction where it fell and we'll see what happens. I'm on a journey to find the monkey. It's a very rare monkey. It's a GoPro monkey. It's not a flying monkey. Sorry, Fred. Oh. All right, so I'm walking around. I'm looking for this. Other people are looking for this. What I'm hoping to see here any minute will be some kind of push notification say that someone has located my tile. Look at this. All right. Your, your lost item monkey GoPro was found by the community. So if I hit this, I should have a pin. Right there. So now I can walk to it. Nothing's uh, popping up. Huh? It actually doesn't. It doesn't actually tell you that you've helped me find it. That's the cool thing. Oh, did I pop up on your screen? Yep. It push notified me. Ah. So I didn't even know I was near it. Ooh, he bent his selfie stick. Poor monkey. So we rang it. I walked right to the dot. Still in one piece. GoPro yeah, session good. held up good too. Yeah. It's kind of a tile review and a GoPro session review. Activating the tile is really easy as well too. First you download the tile app, simply press the tile, and it's gonna tell you the instructions right on it. You're gonna press down firmly. We're gonna hold this next to it, and you're done. Now from that point on, you're gonna give your tile a name. I'm gonna call it Monkey. Monkey GoPro, because it's a monkey holding the GoPro. So there we are, done. Now you got to actually meet the guys in California, didn't you? Yeah, we were out at Maker Fair in the Bay Area. Uh, and it was really, really cool to get to talk to them and uh, talk about a little bit of the design that went into the, making this tile. Now this isn't the actual size of it though. Yeah, yeah it's actually about that size. Okay, there it is. Battery lasts a year. Uh, you don't have to worry about charging it, which I know is a big thing for a lot of people. Now what about waterproof? Like say you lost something and it's rained a couple days, like what's the chances of it holding up? Yeah, uh, tile is completely waterproof. We made it waterproof for people that have more of an active lifestyle or maybe have more of a rugged uh, situation for their objects. You, you mentioned something about a, a forum post or a blog post on your website. Yeah, we posted on uh, the tileapp.com backslash blog. We actually had one of the members of our community actually found his drone uh, crash in someone's backyard and used tile to find it. Nice. So if you want to uh, take his word for it, since I'm not a pilot, um, you can kind of hear a step-by-step -step how he used the app to recover his, his uh, RC vehicle. Very Pretty cool. cool. Yeah, they, they stuck that on a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, in case you ever need to find your Nutella, yeah. which I oftentimes do, tile's perfect for that. There you go. 
Well friends, if you're flying multi-rotors, if you're flying things like expensive GoPros, a $25 investment is not a bad deal to be able to find it back. It's Bluetooth, so it's not perfect technology, but it's definitely something very slim, very light that you can put almost anywhere. Yeah, and finding stuff in the grass like this obviously is a little bit easier, but when you get stuck up in a big tree, it's really gonna be helpful in that kind of scenario. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.